Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 computer where your PC is run into a problem and needs to restart. So if you find yourself continuously restarting your computer, this tutorial will be for you. So first thing you want to do is launch into the automatic repair utility. So if you're able to boot into Windows, you can just open up the start menu and hold down the shift key while selecting restart. Otherwise, you can do a hard power off three times in a row, as you see on my screen right now. So I've already powered down the system, so I've turned it on, waited for the boot screen to come up, and then I pushed the power button in. You do that three times in a row, and then it should launch you to the recovery console here. So I'm just going to give it a second to load up here. Okay, so automatic repair, your PC did not start correctly. Press restart to restart your PC, which can sometimes fix the problem. You can also press advanced options to try other options to repair your PC. We're going to go select the later options, so advanced options there. Select troubleshoot. Select advanced options, and now we're going to select command prompt. Now I'm going to have some commands on the screen in the video. You guys are going to have to just go one at a time here. So it's very important you just type it in exactly as it appears on my screen. So at this point you want to type the letter C on your keyboard, which or whatever your main hard drive would be labeled as, and then colon, and then hit N on your keyboard. Once you're done doing that, type DIR, and then hit enter again on your keyboard. And the way to make sure that you're underneath the correct directory is when you see something that says program files program files, users, windows, and perfect logs. Now depending on what your drive label might be, it might not be your C drive, so just try different letters until you get the correct drive. In most cases it should be the C drive, however. So now once you found the correct drive you want to type CD on your keyboard, then space, then forward slash windows, forward slash again, system32, another forward slash and then you want to do config or actually I should say backslash but I believe a forward slash would work as well once you're done typing this in you want to hit N on your keyboard and at this point you want to type in MD and then space backup if you've done something like this in the past, you might have a duplicate um, file here, so just make sure you might put a 1 on the end of here, or a 2, or something to distinguish it from a previous backup, because you don't want to overwrite another one you might have already saved. So once you're done typing that in, you're going to hit enter on your keyboard again. So at this point, now you're going to type in copy, space, now you're going to do a little star, dot, and then another star another space, and now you're going to type backup, and then hit enter on your keyboard again. Now what you want to do is type CD, space, reg, R-E-G, and then type back, B-A-C-K, and then hit enter on your keyboard. 
Now you want to type dir again. All lowercase doesn't really matter, but I'm going to do all lowercase and then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard again. Now, please note in my case, I have all zeros next to these entries. Um, if it says zero next to your entries, then this will not work for you if you continue forward, so stop here. Um, I would recommend going through System Restore or Starter Prepare and trying to resolve Windows through that. However, due to my computer's environment, I only have zeros here. But if you guys have values that are not equal to zero, there should be really long strings of numbers next to all of these settings on the left side. So just look in here. Um, it's, if you see all zeros, then like I said, go through System Restore. If not, if you guys do have numbers, it should be several million number place values and quite a few of these. Instead, you're going to type in copy space star dot star another space and then two dots back to back and then hit N on your keyboard when it says overwrite type the letter A on your keyboard and then hit enter and then at this point you can type exit And before I hit enter on my keyboard, like I said before, um, most of you guys should not have zeros here. But if you do, this method will not work for you. I'm just going to make that exceptionally clear. So anyway, we have exit typed in here. So I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard to confirm that command. And then underneath choose an option, I'm going to select continue, um, exit and continue to Windows 10. And again, I hope, I do sincerely hope it works. And I hope to catch you in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.